Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Top Opinion on the Top Chat Podcast. My name is Matt and today we're going to be talking about Anthem and why I think this poor game has fallen flat on its beautiful face. Uh, it's a huge shame to see such an esteemed developer in Bioware take on an ambitious project with such a clear identity uh, fail as it has uh, for several reasons. Um, one I just mentioned is, is Bioware. Uh, known for their usually excellent Mass Effect games, uh, which is something that my co-host Joe will probably tell you about one day, Uh, and also the Dragon Age series, a very esteemed developer uh, in Bioware, taking on a brand new game, and it just hasn't worked for them. Always disappointing when a good team makes a bad game. Uh, Secondly, we gamers, we don't want bad games really, do we? I mean, we want all games to be good so that ultimately we've got more choice of what to play, and different great games will keep us hooked on our beloved medium. Uh, Thirdly, it's a shame because Anthem felt like it was going to be something truly different in the looter shooter open world quote unquote game as a platform uh, genre that's becoming a thing over the last few years. I'm talking, you know, uh, Destiny, which is a game I'm going to be mentioning a lot in this video. Uh, Warframe is another one, Fortnite to a certain extent. You know, these games where it's kind of like, ooh, play us and don't play anything else. Uh, The gameplay of Anthem, at first it looked very varied uh, and exciting, flying around in the javelins and then using all of your like power-ups and combos and the different javelin suits working together all looked very exciting. Uh, The setting of the game didn't really look that unique but it was different enough and had little uh, marks here and there to make it recognisable and ultimately it did look very very pretty. Um, and the, seeing the sight of the javelins, the, you know, as I just mentioned, the robot suits, things that you control, seeing them fly around that kind of lush looking environment, um, it did look like a hell of a lot of fun. But uh, unfortunately, the reviews for Anthem are in, and it seems that it just isn't the case. Uh, I've got a few reasons why I think Anthem has failed. The main one for me is because the early access weekend, which was uh, a couple of weeks ago now, Um, It was a chance to show off Anthem over social media, ultimately, uh, with YouTubers, Twitch streamers, and, you know, whoever else. Uh, They could potentially seal the deal for many, many people who were sat on the fence, because let's face it, if, you know, if your favourite YouTuber says, oh, I've been playing Anthem early, and it's really, really good, that's more likely to tip the scales in your favour of, you know, I might actually buy this game. Uh, But unfortunately didn't really work. It was kind of meant to be EA and Bioware saying, hey look, you know this game, look how much fun your favourite YouTubers having, why don't you buy it? And um, for those two companies, it didn't really happen. Uh, reviews based off the early access weekend were, at best, kind of mixed to uh, poor, with uh, most people saying that the overall performance of the game was uh, stunted and slow, and there was a lack of actual content, uh, a key sticking point, uh, because you're not going to shell out, you know, $60 or £50 or whatever for an empty game, are you? No, neither am I. Um, yeah, it, it, this is the thing. It looks amazing, but so does, you know, Red Dead 2, so does uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And both of those games, just as, you know, examples off the top of my head, both of those games are completely packed to the brim with things to do, whereas Anthem, unfortunately, doesn't seem to have that. Um, a game I mentioned earlier, Destiny, so Anthem, uh, similarly to Destiny, was uh, supposedly in development for a number of years, uh, and also similarly to Destiny, Anthem was supposedly rebooted entirely, uh, not long before the kind of the hype train left the station. Uh, currently the game is sitting at 61% uh, rated on Metacritic for PC, which ultimately isn't that bad. Um, the reason I chose to use the PC score is because, let's face it, PC is the best and, and that's where the game will both look and run the best, uh, which is why I use that score, but the user rating on Metacritic is very bad at the moment, it's sitting at a 4.1 out of 10, which is pretty pathetic. Uh, you can take that with a pinch of salt because usually it is the angriest voices that shout the loudest, but it still doesn't look good and, I mean, if it was me who was sat on the fence, because Ultimately, I'm not anymore. I, I was kind of sat on the fence when the game first launched and we saw some like early gameplay demos and stuff like that. I was like, oh, this game interests me. You know, I'm a big fan of Destiny. Uh, the environment looks good, blah, blah, blah. Maybe I'll pick this one up. And then I mentioned this on the, on the podcast, but the more I saw of that game, or Anthem rather, the more I saw of Anthem, 
the less likely I was to buy it, I just became so uninterested in the actual game. And um, it seems like it's gone that way for a lot of people as well. I mean, 4.1 out of 10 on, on Metacritic just isn't great. And then the sales figures themselves, it's, it's kind of difficult to say at the moment because the digital sales uh, from EA's uh, online store haven't actually been um, published yet. But uh, as of right now, so it's currently quarter to 10 in the evening on Monday, the 25th of February 2019. Uh, I don't want to get sued for like libel or lying or anything. Um, yeah, so as of right now, physical sales of Anthem are down half of what Mass Effect Andromeda sold, which is Bioware's most recent game. So for a bit of perspective, Andromeda sold half of the physical copies sold by Mass Effect 3 on its opening week. So not only has Anthem sold half of Bioware's last game, but even that sold half of their last game before that. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, and just to cap things off for EA and Bioware, Anthem sold one quarter of the amount of copies that Destiny 2 sold back in September 2017. Not, not even Destiny 1, which sold just by the bucket load. Destiny 2, which was kind of another game like Anthem where, you know, people weren't sure if it was actually going to be any good. It was, it was looking like it was going to be kind of not that much of a leap from the first Destiny, which ultimately, in my opinion, it was a step back. But that's for another video. Um, but yeah, just to rub a bit of salt in the wound for Bioware, one quarter of the copies that Destiny 2 sold. So, I, like I said, that's without uh, digital downloads at the time of writing or speaking. But, um, I mean, that's physical, if you just go by physical sales alone, that's not looking good. But I think ultimately the reason that Anthem is a failure at this point is just the sheer amount of negative press. Uh, that the game has received. I mean, hell, I'm even kind of contributing to it myself right now, and I feel a little bit bad, but this is this is more or less just me uh, explaining why I think the game has failed. Um, and as I said earlier, you know, I don't, I don't want games to fail. I feel like none of us do, because we want games to be good for... Uh, yeah, I mean, I said that earlier, but anyway. Um, we live in an age now where everyone has an opinion. <laughs> Again, myself included. Uh, people are less risky with their money, because... You just don't need to be, uh, really. When there's opinions and reviews, you know, everywhere you turn, then you know why would you take a risk? You just you just don't need to. And it's hard to convince, you know, the masses and the general public to buy your game if the you know the hardcore fans and the people that really know what they're talking about, if they're just kind of putting down your efforts and saying, you know, this is not a good game, uh, even if it is, you know, all oh, those there's patches on the way and, and blah blah blah. I mean. There was an, a, a, supposedly an enormous day one patch for Anthem that fixed the issues that the uh, the early access weekend uh, brought about. However, day one patches are kind of like a, a one size fits all excuse in the gaming industry at the moment. I really don't like them personally. I think they're an absolute cop out. Um, but I don't know. That's again, that's maybe for another day. That's that's a somewhat controversial opinion. I don't know. Um, Bioware have said, you know, they've got more fixes on the way, they've got more patches on the way, but, you know, in in today's world where there's a, there's a plethora of games available to all of us at any given moment, you know, I, I mentioned earlier Red Dead 2 and, and Assassin's Creed Odyssey, but it's not just that, you know, we've got the Resident Evil 2 remaster has just been absolutely, like, you know, praised through the roof, Kingdom Hearts 3 has just come out and people are loving that as well. You can't help but feel like for Bioware and, and EA, you know, you needed this game to be really, really good. You know, if you wanted it to hit the targets that EA have set for themselves rather stupidly. But, um, yeah, you can't help but think that coupled with just how many games there are, you know, that didn't make sense. How many games there are coupled with, you know, how good a lot of these games are, like, you know, the Red Deads and blah, blah, blah. Anthem, just to me, it looks like it's going to be a forgotten failure, and pretty soon we're going to be seeing it on pre-owned shelves all over the world. If you have played Anthem, and you completely disagree, feel free to write in the comments, we can get a bit of a discussion going. If you uh, agree, again, I don't know, just write in the comments, I guess. Uh, as a bit of a disclaimer, I, don't, I should have said this at the start, I haven't actually played Anthem, I've watched a hell of a lot of videos, I've read a lot of reviews, uh, I've been watching some Twitch and stuff. And, I mean, sadly, yeah, the game just isn't what it was cracked up to be. 
But thanks for listening for now. There's going to be a new podcast soon. Go and check out Joe's uh, Topinion that he made about a week ago uh, on kind of topical, actually, um, considering what I've just been talking about. Talking about how there are just too many damn games. Uh, and I do wholeheartedly agree with him. But for now, thanks very much for listening. Podcast in a couple of days. Bye for now.